Hey folks, Van Cap and Woody here. Welcome to my next video. Hang on a little bit and I'll tell you what's going on and where I'm at. On a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here. Welcome back to my, this side of the video. I'm out here with family. These are great. Nieces and nephews, hey, say hey, folks. How y'all doing? Hello. This is only talking all I want to do for now. The family's all gathered here for uh, my birthday celebration and a family reunion here in Southeast Alabama. We're just kind of taking it easy. So bear with us. We're going to smoke the hog overnight. And we got some other food that everybody's prepared and brought here. And uh, bear with us. We'll see what we can get into. So here we are again. There's the Charlie Channel. Y'all gotta be quiet. Y'all just be yourself. Okay. There's Nebo. He's enjoying being off leash. These are more of my nieces. <laughs> nieces and nephews. Here's my youngest brother. Where? I'll tell y'all about. Where? Where? Where'd he go? Colonel Sanders he go? out here. Where'd he go? <laughs> He's my younger brother. Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, we're all gathering here today. Doing a celebration for my birthday and it's a family reunion. So y'all hang out with us. I've got some video of the food that was prepared uh, last night and it uh, was pre prepared for today. So get your knives and forks ready, strap in your seat, and we're getting ready to show you. Catch you on the other side. That's my baby sister, Diane. Oh, Diane. Hey, hey, girl. There's more nieces and nephews coming. That's Danita. There's my uh, niece Erica, my nephew Scott, nephew Matthew, Mark, Mark Jr. Hey there! So y'all know me. I normally don't do goppy food, but I'll probably show y'all some here. Uh, just gather around family. I haven't seen in a long time. Some of these uh, nephews or little kids when I've seen them last. Uh, and they do follow me on YouTube, which I think is pretty cool. That's the reason why I started the channel. But let family members know I was okay. Uh, know it, let them know it's possible. I'm comfortable. And I'm seeing the world and uh, showing them things that are going on. Bear with us. What's the food? It's going to be a quick shower come through here. And then uh, we'll get things going. Hey, I appreciate y'all here this long. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification let you know when I upload a video. Catch y'all on the other side.
within our family over something like 12 years. Uh, families change a lot. You know, Papa is no longer here. Our families uh, constantly are changing you know, through babies being born and just different events happening. And so I just don't want to miss these opportunities to uh, to one another about them. The most important thing. And so as much as we enjoy things like family, as much as we enjoy seeing one another, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, I wanted to read this text of scripture that speaks a lot about um, what Jesus thought about his family and to just point us toward that. And so listen to what Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew in chapter 12. It says, while he was still speaking to the crowds, behold, his mother and brothers were standing outside seeking to speak to him. Now someone said to him, behold, your mother and your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak to you. But Jesus answered the one who was telling him and said, who is my mother and my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, behold, my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my father who is in heaven, he is my brother and sister and mother. So what I wanted to just think about for just a moment is the idea of what it means to be a family. Going all the way back to the Garden of Eden where God created the family. He created the family and it was good when Adam and Eve were united together. And that sin entered into that situation and caused all of the strife that we have in families today. From everything, every dysfunction you can think of, from divorce to just family strife and all of those things come as a result of sin. And so when we live in the world and, and we see all of the struggles that it is to try to enjoy the blessings of family, like we are doing today, right? these are rare occasions. We know that when we go home that things are difficult to be in a family, to try to be fathers and mothers and sons and daughters. And so sin is very real and sin divides our families and we must come to terms with that. And that sin will not ever end so long as we allow it to. You can think about what happens to our family is absolutely temporary. That there is no such thing as this in hell. When people think about going to hell, they think about in their rejection of God that they will just enjoy a party with their best friends in hell for all of eternity and they'll be joined with Satan there. But all of the things that we enjoy here right now, even by those among us who are not born again and are not filled with the Spirit, do not trust in Jesus, do not have any desire to obey God. We still enjoy one another, but why is that? And it's because of the grace and mercy of God that keeps us from sinning in ways that we otherwise would against one another. There is not two of us that can be joined together right now, holding children, standing side by side to people that you love, apart from the grace of God and apart from the work of the Holy Spirit, keeping us back from the sin that we are all capable of. And so hell is no different, except for that restraining grace of God is gone. And you will truly hate the people that you love right now. You will hate them with utter hatred. And that you will suffer the wrath of God for all of eternity against people that you love in hell. And so when you think about that, that is bad news. But when Jesus says these words here, that he's not concerned with his biological DNA, He's not concerned truly with the woman that bore him, although he was he honored her as every son should honor their mother. Jesus was ultimately concerned. And why he said this, and it's not disrespectful or mean, it's so that everyone knows what is true family. And the true family is the family of the Lord Jesus, where people are united by faith in him. We all come to him as sinners, know that we all deserve hell. None of us are better than one another. So we come to faith in Christ. We obey him. The Spirit of God lives in us, and that causes us to truly love one another. In the book of Malachi, it says one of the signs of the new covenant is that the hearts of fathers would be turned to their children, and the hearts of children would be turned to their fathers. And so when you rest in the gospel, when you rest in the finished work of Jesus, when that is truly your life, you will truly love your family as you ought to. You will honor your father and mother as you ought to. You 
you will help your children as you ought to. You will sacrifice. You will do whatever it takes to have your children so that they know God and obey His commands. That's right. One of the best psalms that, that I think about all the time when I, think, when I think about family is Psalm 78. In verses 1 through 8, David writes that God has established a testimony in Jacob, the law in Israel, that fathers would raise their children so that our children's children would raise up a generation unknown, that they would know God and obey His commandments. So that must be our desire for one another here. Not that we just enjoy these natural things that pagans can do. Unbelieving, godless pagans can do what we're doing here. And if our love does not go beyond natural family, family relationships, they will not go beyond the grave. And so it's my sincere hope, as the Apostle Paul said, in Romans 9, Speaking of the Jews, he said that I could wish that I was accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of the Jews, my kinsmen according to the flesh, that Paul so desperately wanted the salvation of his family, that he would prefer their salvation over his own. We must love one another like this. We must love one another toward God not as self-righteous thinking that we are some great family better than all the other families. We are no different. The only thing that sets us apart is if we trust in Christ and obey Him, we are forgiven of our sins. We are reconciled to God and to one another. And we have all the joys of this. It will not scratch the surface of what we will enjoy for all of eternity. Resting in Christ, hoping in Him, and loving one another. So I hope that as we continue throughout this day, we're going to pray, I promise. <laughs> but as we continue, think about these things, that all of this is temporary apart from Christ, apart from us trusting Him. And let us not be content with a temporary family reunion, but truly hope in Him and obey Him. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you as sinners. We come to you, Lord, hoping in Christ, knowing that you have commanded us to trust in him for our salvation. Father, and so it is my prayer, it is all of our prayer, but that is true of every one of us today, that we are trusting in your dear son and his righteousness. Father, and in Christ's name, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all of the natural blessings of family children, of parents, of cousins, and aunts, and uncles, and all of these wonderful blessings. Dear God, but our hearts are not content. We don't want this to be temporary. So help us today, Father, to look through the goodness of what you've done for us, to look to the ultimate truth that is in your Son. And Father, let us be brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, and not just in our flesh. Thank you, Lord, for the food you've given to us. We thank you, Lord, for each set of hands that prepared the food. Lord, we pray that you bless it for the nourishment of our bodies and our bodies for your service. It's in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. That's right, I changed hats. Well, it's that time, as you can see, it's a little bit more quieter. There's no noise around here. Just everybody's taking it all in. Let's go. Roast pork, that hog that was uh, smoked overnight. Got some baked ziti, baked beans, tater salad, and fresh fits fish from Mississippi. Uh, my brother Johnny Ray, he caught that. And Nebo, he's running around and he's getting treats from everybody. What do you have, bud? What do you have? Where's he at? There he is. Come on. Here you go. <laughs> All right. Bear with us. We'll catch you on the other side.
You gotta do this all over. There it is. The final part to the meal. Ooh, good desserts. I don't eat like this often, but when I do, I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs> I'll catch y'all on the other side. There it is. <laughs> all right, thank y'all. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I'm gonna get you a plate. Well, folks, this is it. This is my family. The siblings, nephews, and nieces, and great nephews and nieces. All the gathering here together today. Celebration. Having a good old country time. And I'm here. Uh, good old food. Only person missing is my daughter. She's on my mind. I know she's got things she's dealing with. Uh, she's getting ready to have some things done medically for her. But uh, I'm here to let y'all know. Yes, I'm from Alabama. And I know everybody thinks everybody's married to their sisters down here. And we've all seen UFOs. But I'm just dating my sister. I couldn't swear it was a weather balloon. Hey, I appreciate y'all hanging out this long. Uh, it means the world to me. I do have family and people that uh, watch out for me. And uh, they keep track of my videos. But uh, y'all... Keep smiling, safe travels, stay healthy, and treat one another like you want to be treated yourself. We'll catch y'all on the other side.